What is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Raph and I'm a YouTuber based in Sydney. In this channel, we talk about food, travel, and the occasional street fashion. This episode is a food vlog and a little bit of a tech vlog. We're gonna take a look at a Kaisen Don pop-up shop here in Sydney. So the shop is called Simulation Senpai and it's located at the tram sheds here in Sydney. So it's by the team behind the famous Sydney restaurant Sokyo that's located at the Star. So it's Chase Kojima and his team. As I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be a little bit of a tech vlog as well because we're taking a look at the new, well, not really new, but you know, the recently released Sony ZV-1. So the Sony ZV-1 is a compact camera, as you can see, but it's been marketed more towards YouTubers like myself. So um, in the later clips, I'll be taking this out for a field test see what it's like from an amateur YouTuber's point of view of using the um, new Sony ZV-1. Stick around at towards the end of the video because I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this camera as a vlogging camera. So if you wanna order from Simulation Senpai, you need to order earlier on in the week. I'll put a link down below to their website. I'll put a link down below to their Instagram account as well. All right guys, so let me take you to Simulation Senpai now and let's take this for a field test. Now let's see how the Sony ZV-1, ZV-1 performs. Let's get it. All right guys, so we are here now at the tram sheds here in Sydney. We're here at Simulation Senpai picking up our food. So it's actually my mom's uh, birthday week this week. Uh, so she doesn't want to go out. I thought I'd bring back food to her. She loves seafood, she loves sashimi, sushi, all that. And what an awesome way to, you know, bring seafood to her is via Simulation Senpai. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> Nani? That's Chase, guys. All right, guys, so right now I'm vlogging with the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 here in Australia. And um, one issue that a lot of YouTubers has pointed out with this camera, I mean, it's an amazing compact camera for vlogging, but uh, one of the things that they brought up is they say it's not wide enough. Well, the thing is right now while I'm vlogging, I am using a Joby 3K um, Gorilla Pod, which extends this a little bit more and as you can see, it gives a water shot. I mean, that's the fix for that not wide enough um, lens that they say this ZV-1 doesn't have. I mean, there you go. Super wide, get everything, no issues. I mean, and the Gorilla Pod doesn't cost much, you know? So they, I'm just waiting for one more Kaisen Don, which is uh, the Magro Don. That's just like the one cut, but each cut of tuna is like marinated. I can't wait to try. Boseki bakso, zembudon, wagyu, wagyu chin. And I haven't had uni in a long time. So that's a wagyu chin. This is the... Boseki uh, bakso, that's where uh, it's like the treasure box of the sea. Yeah. You get all the different seafood. Yeah, and this is uh, the tuna with the yeah. cuts. Yeah. One is the wagyu chin, which is um, soya chin row or uni, and fatty, marbly cuts of wagyu. It's just been slightly seared. So to cut through all that wagyu, Chase used that big ass katana looking knife. Actually, it's not a knife, it's a sword. <laughs> so you got like high quality uni there, and you've got the wagyu over there. Look at that. This one's called the Hoseki Bako. So you've got a variety of cuts here. You've got the salmon over here, you've got um, prawn, scallops. 
There's an uni or sea urchin row. You've got ikora or salmon row. There's a snapper. My favorite cut, the otoro, which is um, fatty tuna. Okay, so there is. And then you've got kingfish. It's more tuna. And this one I'll try to figure out. Bonito. That's a bonito. So. This one's actually mine. And over here we've got the Zen Budon, which we've got multiple slices of fatty tuna and then I think that's just normal tuna. I don't know which part I'll put a description what exactly what part that is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can't wait. Taking this all back to mom. Hello. We got a camera. It's mom's okay, birthday this week. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday again, mom. Thank you. Got some stuff for you from Chase. Fish, mom. So that's yours. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You've got three cuts of tuna. You've got fatty tuna. You've got medium fatty tuna and lean tuna. Wow, look at that. Enjoy, mom. Thank you. Enjoy the food. See you guys later. Alright guys, so I'm back at home and I brought back my simulation senpai, my share of the simulation senpai Kaisen Don. So um, I've got the um, Wagyu Urchin Don that. And we've got the Hoseki Bako Don. Looks too pretty. Mm, let me switch on that product. There's a product shop is setting in this. Let me see if I can switch that on. Okay, so now we're using the product showcase for the Sony ZV-1. So here's my face. Boom. Wow. Oh my God. Look how fast that focuses on the food. Wow, that's amazing. Do a bit of B-roll with the A6400. I love this product showcase feature. Look at that. Look how fatty that looks. It's amazing. I'm gonna have it now. Mmm. Oh my god. That texture. Oh man, the marbly fat. There's umami. It's silky. It's buttery. It's tender. Mmm. There's some pickles in there too. There's some tuna tartare in it. I'll show you in a bit. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, that's amazing uni. Oh my god, it's sweet and creamy. You don't get much of that briny sea taste. It's that amazing. Mmm. Alright, so the Hoseki Bako has got a bit of everything. It's a classic Kaisen Don. Let's start with the tuna. Mmm. Let's get some ginger and cleanse the palate. And go with the bonito. Mmm, scallop. So much umami in that. Got some fatty tuna, guys. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That's a uh, Wow! Mmm, yes. Have some of that ikura. Mm. All those juices of umami just bursting in my mouth. Mmm. A little bit of that sea urchin with some scallops. Mmm. 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 Damn, that's so good. Oishi. Oishi. Not much more to be said about simulation sent by Kaisen Don. It's amazing, man. It's legit. I love how careful Chase and his team um, puts it all together and assembles it. It's handled with care, precision. They source nothing but the best cuts fresh from the Sydney fish markets on Friday and Saturday mornings. So yeah, let me just edit this and see you guys in a bit. Okay, so that was Simulation Senpai and a field test or, you know, just taking this out in the field, this Sony ZV-1 compact camera. I'm just gonna give you some thoughts from an amateur vlogger's point of view of this compact camera. How is it as a vlogging camera? How is it as a B camera? So I'm gonna start by letting you know what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And to be honest, there's more that I like about it than I don't like. 
So we're gonna start with the first thing that I like about this camera, and that's the size. Like, come on guys, look at that. That's like tiny, right? <laughs> it's so tiny, it's not gonna grab attention. And the second part is the flip screen, guys. <laughs> Flips it aside. So the mic goes right on top, and it's not in the way. Here's the screen, here's the mic. It doesn't get in the way. Another good thing about this camera is the autofocus. The autofocus is so fast, guys. Like it picks up your face, your eyes, and it's just really fast. Especially when you're reviewing food, um, sneakers, like makeup, whatever it is. When you um, review products or when you're on the move doing something, you know, um, for most vlogs, autofocus is very, very important. The fourth thing that I like about this camera is the product showcase functionality, the, the product showcase feature. The lens just picks up the product straight away. So with the ZV-1, um, as soon as you have a product that's in the screen, that, that can be seen in the screen, and uh, it will focus on the product if you have the product showcase feature on. And the fifth thing that I like about this camera is it's got decent video quality. It was just like, you know, no picture profile, 24 frames per second, and I slept on a lot of that. You know what else? It's got high aperture end-to-end. -end. What I mean by high aperture end-to-end -end is um, on the wide side, you got f1.8, and then on the very zoomed-in side of it, it's 2.8. So for us food vloggers that go to restaurants with low lighting, that's, that's gold, man. Another feature that's really awesome about this camera is the built-in ND filter. The last thing that I like about this is the steady shot stabilization. First thing that I don't like about this camera is if you're a bit too zoomed in, you know, active steady shot stabilization mode, it gets a little bit shaky. And then the last thing, or the second thing that I don't like about this camera is the battery life. It's got a super short battery life, which I'm not happy about. Um, but you can get away with it. Just make sure that you bring spare batteries with you and you're good. And I said, this is gonna be my B camera, so I'm not gonna be on this the whole time. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please hit that like button, smash it if you want to. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. And comment down below, I'd love to hear from you guys. That's it for this video, guys. Until then, peace, much love, I'm out.